Hi everyone on YouTube, my name is Dawson. I'm just here complaining that how many of you have ever went to school and when you went to school wearing something that your teacher did not like? I, I'm not trying to single out bronies, but I'm a brony and I can say one thing. I I go to school every day wearing a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic blanket on my, like, around my neck as a cape. Like, for one thing, how many of you have ever been told by a teacher that they didn't like your shirt, not to wear it, don't ever bring it again, being a complete dick well this happened to me today I went into one of my club meetings because I'm a part of 15 different clubs and this club was Pokemon Yu-Gi-Oh! Vanguard and Magic and Chess Club which I signed up at the beginning of the year of course and I go to Canyon High School I walked in today and the teacher who hosts it every day, not going to single out his name, but I will say the name of the room, G117. So he, he told me, you're not allowed in here as long as you're wearing that blanket around your neck. It hurt my feelings. My heart shattered. Have any of you had your heart shatter in an instance? Well, I do this because it makes me feel happy. If I don't wear the blanket, I'm unhappy. I'm usually joyful, generous, kind, and loyal every single time I go to school. But being told that disappointed me. I should be able to walk on campus, go into each and every class without a teacher ever saying that. When a teacher says that, and it hurts your feelings like deep down like it did for me, it's considered bullying. He bullied me by telling me I'm not allowed to wear that. Don't bring your ponies. Don't bring that blanket. You're not allowed in here as long as you have those. Jeez. Like, calm down. It's just a blanket. It's just plastic ponies. What's wrong with that? I'm a brony. Deal with it. I have all my other teachers just go, eh, oh well. Well, we can't question anything about that. It's what he likes to do. It's what makes him happy. It's what makes him sane. It's what helps him. Because I have autism and ADHD. And the way I remember things is that I have to have an inanimate object to latch all that knowledge onto. Like, for instance, let's say... A, um, I had my sonic screwdriver. I would set it on my desk and leave it there for the whole period looking back and forth between it while I was learning and everything I absorbed went in went towards the object so whenever I looked at the object I remembered what I was learning which was kind of a helpful hand I had different ways but Many other people studied like normal, did notes, wrote down what the teacher was saying, but not me. I just sat there, hands folded, head up high, sitting up straight, listening to the teacher. And what happens? Like... I'm just going to say this. This was during lunch, too. Well, I 
they don't want to single him out. Because if I singled out the teacher when... Because I did post this on YouTube. I post this on YouTube. I don't want his name to be out there. In the Hart School District worry box. About teachers they have to worry about. But... My principal will know who he is. I know who he is. He used to be so kind, so generous. He didn't care. And then when he told me he, I had him next year for, like, U.S. history in another class, he's just like, you can't wear that blanket anymore. I'm like, dude, that's like telling Barack Obama not to wear a suit. That's what, I didn't say it to his face, but I was thinking it. And it's also like saying, you have to cut out the most important part of this movie. that we, The longest part of this movie. That is the most important part of the movie. And you can't just go ahead and do that. It doesn't work that way. It has to go through audio. It has to go through... Ooh, what? It has to... Be... Like, full. You have to have the main plot in there. If you don't put a main plot in anything, there's no point of reading, writing, or anything. If there's no plot, if it's not run through an advisor... Can't change anything. And he just decided to say, Oh, you can't bring that anymore. You're not allowed to wear that around you. As long as that's around you, you, can, you can't you can do it in here, but you can do it out there. Like, come on! It's me being me! We all have different ways! We're not... All the same. If we were all the same, it would be a boring, dull life. No one would be able to invent anything. No one could do anything. Everyone would like the same stuff. Everyone would be friends. Come on! Like, you have to have a difference between the original person. Like, for me, how I wear the blanket. Then, the people out all around you. You gotta stand out sometimes. You gotta be yourself. And, for instance, like, let's say Gabriel Brown. Gabriel Brown went on to be, was in the military, and he walked around an aircraft carrier wearing a My Little Pony blanket. Of course, it would be his officer who would tell him to take it off. I would understand that. But a teacher is not a officer of war. They are also not the principal, vice principals. Come on! It's kids being kids! If the kid wants to do something, let them do it. It's how they want to stand out. Unless it has to do with them beating someone up, calling someone names, spreading gossip, and being a bully. Then step in. That's the only time you're supposed to. Unless it has gone through and passed any official supervisor on a school campus, they can't make you stop. They can't do anything. This is unacceptable in the school district. I even looked it up. They said if a teacher ever does that, they can be fired. Literally fired. No second chance. No third chance. They had their chance. Their first chance. And they screwed it up.
by telling a student they couldn't be themselves. I know there's a dress code, but the, does the dress code really say you can't wear capes? You can't wear a blanket as a cape? You can't bring a blanket to school? No! It's not part of the rule. So, when you're at school, you should be allowed, and I mean allowed, to walk onto your campus without a teacher telling you otherwise. Because when someone tells you, you can't do it. You are forbidden to do it. They don't want to see you in it again, or else you're not allowed in their classroom. It is considered bullying, being a jerk, and breaking their vow to teach us as students. Because if you're not allowed in the classroom, as long as you're wearing that blanket, or whatever they don't like, it's not fair. Because you wouldn't be allowed to walk in and get taught what you need to get taught for the future. You're going to be forbidden from it. You wouldn't be allowed to learn. It's a black and white world we live in. There's kind, there's generous. And then there's bullies, critics. I'm kidding, critics are pretty hilarious if you've seen Nostalgia Critic. That, that guy's awesome. I gotta say, I'm just gonna make a shout out right now. Nostalgia Critic, doing a good job. Doing a wonderful job. Should review one of my videos. Which is at Dawson Washak. Subscribe to Dawson Washak, please. <laughs> now back on topic. When you arrive to school, don't you expect that the teachers, the staff, members, the peer mentors, the administrators, the principals, and the vice principals to accept you for who you are. Not everyone's the same. You gotta move past the past and move towards the future. Because when you put off that student's learning over one teensy weensy stupid subject, you're screwing them a whole lifetime of learning. Would you rather have them in class learning or standing outside? Wearing the thing that you don't want them to. Who, like, not learning anything. You can't move them on. They're going to fail your class. They're going to fail the class that you forbid them to come in because they wore that simple thing. It, it's just ridiculous. Come on. Let us in. Just because we do something you don't accept doesn't mean you need to call it out. And call the person over and say, I'm not calling you out. I just don't want you wearing that anymore. I don't want you doing that anymore. It annoys me. That is something a teacher should never say. A teacher should be kind, honest, and always accept the student for whoever and whatever they are. Wait, scratch out whatever. Or what gender they are. No matter if they're a boy who likes My Little Pony, friendship is magic, who cares? It, it's just their passion. It's what they like. What they like is what they like. Like, some people like Call of Duty. They like to wear Call of Duty shirts. And Call of Duty shirts, I'm not trying to single just comment on this people who call of duty shirts are pretty cool i wish i had some they look pretty awesome i have friends with them pretty awesome but still a teacher should never do that just because a teacher doesn't like something 
doesn't mean they have to single out the student and call them over just to tell them that. That's something you should never say. That's something a teacher should never say. Don't single one person out. When you single one person out, you have to single out everyone. Because then it's unfair to the person. It's going to make them upset. It's going to make them cry. I'm just saying this because this happened to me. I know how it feels like. And if you know how it feels like, I think you should really like this video. Because no teacher should do that to a student. A student is a student. A student is for to learn. Not to be forbidden to learn just because they wear something the teacher does not like. If the teacher doesn't like it, they can't deny you. As long as you're following the dress code, they can't deny you wearing that. Because there's no logical rule that you cannot wear that item. And when someone says you can't, you can. I'm pretty much good at loopholes. Trust me. If you give me anything, a rule, like... If you give me a rule, I'll find a way around that rule. Well, I'm signing off because I think many of you would have a lot of questions about what I've just said.